We're here with Rob Keo, and we're going to talk about the all-new 2017 Civic SI. We have the sedan here. And um, first, I want to kind of ask you, what was the philosophy for this particular you know, iteration of the SI? The, were you looking to provide you know, more flexible driving experience, a more hardcore driving experience, or just kind of another evolution of what you did with the ninth gen? Yeah, so um, this generation of SI is obviously based on the on the all new global Civic platform. Uh, that platform immediately has has been, um, from an enthusiast driving point of view, uh, a great leap above the, the ninth generation car. It's lower, wider. You know, even when you're driving a Civic LX, <laughs> it's already an improved driving experience over the previous generation car. Now SI is basically designed to be a notch up above the the standard Civic lineup. And then, you know, Type R is the ultimate pinnacle. But this car, it's for the enthusiast. It's for somebody who really wants a, a sporty drive, but they want to be able to drive this car every day as well. Uh, so really, it's it's taking everything that's in this, the standard Civic platform and then upgrading all the components to, to, to serve that en enthusiast um, driver. So you've got things like upgraded brakes on the car. We've got an upgraded sport suspension. And this car, for the first time, introduces a two-mode uh, sport suspension suspension as well. So this has uh, this has an adaptive suspension. Type R's got three mode. This one's got, got two mode. So this has normal and sport and then Type R will go uh, sport is standard then co or comfort or up to plus R. But this car has uh, has the two modes built in. Uh, in turn and so we've got upgraded suspension, brakes, the wheel and tire package. Uh, this is comparable to what you'll see on the on the Civic Sport uh, hatchback as well as the 18 inch uh, wheel package. We did upsize uh, um, or actually the width is up over the previous generation of Civic that we were on 225s before. This is on 235s, uh, both 18s though. And then, uh, obviously, we've gone to the 1.5 turbo motor uh, here for this car. So it has the same output as previous generation uh, in terms of horsepower, but out of a 1.5 turbo instead of a 2.4 uh, naturally aspirated car. Uh, the advantage on this car, um, other than, besides fuel economy, because there's a 1.5, is also more torque. So torque is up about 30 pound-feet. So it's got really a lot... A lot of mid-range punch, so slightly different um, powertrain style than the, than the previous car. But actually, you know, I've been driving the uh, the 1.5 uh, turbo sport hatchback, and it's it's just really fun to drive. It's really punchy in the mid-range, uh, and I think for what most people are going to uh, experience on their daily drive, it's uh, you can it's more usable fun, I should say. Yeah. Yep. So with the previous SI, you know, the large project meter talked about. Um, I don't know what the Japanese translation is, but in Omama they talked about this linear response, I think uh, is the, the word that they use. So okay. is this looking to continue that kind of linear response in the driving experience, or is it looking to deliver kind of a little bit more of that, you know, that big hit of power with, that you can kind of get out of a turbo? Yeah, so you will notice when... Uh, when you drive this car, that similar to driving the other, if you've driven the other 1.5 turbos, particularly with the manual transmission, uh, they do have a lot of mid-range punch, and so you're going to experience in that, that that in this car as well. Uh, but on top of what you'll experience in in the Sport line is with the SI, you know, if you got the bigger brake package on it as well, you've got the two-mode suspension, so you can go tighter on the suspension, you can go tighter on the on the steering as well. So this car, you'll notice, is is a lot more. Uh, buttoned down, tighter, and more responsive uh, than this than the sport trim, and it's got that extra boost of uh, power and torque as well. So it's just going to be, you know, all the fun that that hatchback is to drive, and it's going to be another level up. More. What is, yeah, what is the key difference between this 1.5 liter turbo and the sport? Is it just pushing more boost? Does it have more, I guess, so, of cam profile? What, yeah, what are you so looking at? The, the, the basic engine uh, is the same, but it, it, it is pushing more boost. It's got a bigger turbo on it than, uh, than what's on the, uh, on the hatchback, so it actually uh, pushes more air. It's got a 9, nine vein, vein turbo on it, so um, yeah, so that's where basically we're getting our uh, more top-end performance out of this car uh, from, from the bigger turbo on it. So are there are there substantive differences in the in the head design here? Do we have you know much bigger ports? Are we talking different you know cams? Do we have 
you know, different I'm not valve train here. Of the internal uh, different. I mean, obviously, when when we have more uh, power and torque, we have to beef up certain certain components on the car. I know, like the gear sets uh, in the in the SI gearbox are beefed up over the over the standard uh, Civic manual transmission. So certain components will be will be beefed up, uh, but the the general uh, base engine package is, is pretty comparable to what's in the other 1.5 turbos. Just, just the you know you'll you have different uh, intake bits on this car, different different turbos. So you know in order to get uh, that more boost into into the engine and get the higher output, you've got some some. I think the basic block is the same and the components are the same, but the some of the add-on um, intake exhaust are are unique. Same turbo. It's same turbo as in as what's on the CRV actually. Yes. With the brake package here, so does it, does this feature the um, brake ducting like the Civic Type R does as well, or uh, you know some of the aero management? Because the aero, the front bumper, rear bumper, you have a spoiler here, so the aerodynamics are a bit different than you know the other uh, the yeah. Civic sedan. What, and other what you'll notice about about the Civic uh, front and rear uh, bumper fascia designs, this is very similar to what we've got on the Sport hatchback. So you've got the gloss black uh, upper grille, you've got um, these uh, wide cutouts in the in the lower grille, and it is it is uh, very much similar to design to what's on on the hatchback in terms of the front and rear rear fascias. In terms of uh, ducting here, we don't have the uh, the cutouts in the bumper for the uh, for the brake cooling and, and, and the air curtain. Uh, this this brake package is a little bit uh, it's upgraded over over standard Civic, but not all the way to the Brembo, Brembo package on on the Type R. So these are single piston calipers here. Yeah. Here, so we have 18 inch tires. Is, is does the Civic Si have one tire spec, or does or is there an option here for yeah, tires? So this is. Uh, so SI has uh, one standard uh, tire size, is, uh, so it comes on 18-inch wheels, and as I said, they're, uh, they're 235 uh, width tires, so it's up, uh, let's say, 10 millimeters over the previous generation car. Standard um, tire is, uh, is a high performance all season, uh, but you can, we will have a model spec, uh, it's called HPT option, high performance tire option, so you can get uh, summer tires on this car uh, also if you want. So, you, you know, depending on where, where you live, if you're in New York, they're probably going to go for the high-performance all-season tire. If you're in Southern California, maybe you're going to go for the summer tire. And do you know what what, um, what model of tire you're going to you're going to have here? Um, I don't. I mean, for the the high-performance option, is that going to be the same as the, the Civic Type R? Is it going to be the Michelin? Or? Honestly, I don't. I have. A, I don't know this. I don't know the spec for for the uh, uh, for that compound. I think we've got. Um, actually, we've got. <clears throat> We got a Goodyear tire on here for the for the high perform, uh, high performance all season, and I would have to check to see what the summer tire is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, so one one other interesting thing, uh, you might have seen it on the uh, on the concept car that we showed in Los Angeles uh, previously. Uh, besides the uh, the factory tire, which is going to uh, wheel and tire combo, which is going to be an 18 inch combo, we will be coming out later with an HFP uh, uh, accessory wheel option, and you saw that on the concept car. That was a that was a 19-inch wheel uh, from HFP uh, with a Toyo summer tire on it. And is the HF, does the HFP package come with different suspension, or is it just the wheel and tire? No, HFP uh, is, a, is a whole package which will include uh, suspension, wheel, and tire, and you can upgrade uh, the brakes as well. You can go to uh, cross drill rotors uh, for, the, for the front and rear brakes as well. Yeah. Okay, so interior-wise, it's pretty similar to the Sport, except that we have um, upgraded, you know, steering wheel, um, upgraded seats, and then equipment-wise, it's similar to the EX or EX plus a couple of other items. Yeah. So appearance-wise, you're going to see it. It looks uh, similar to Sport in terms of uh, wheel set and and body kit. Uh, we have in the hatchback trims we have we have the LX Sport, which is basically LX grade interior, and then we have a touring spec, which is you know full leather uh, touring grade interior. Now the SIs are based uh, the the feature spec is is uh, mirrored after the EX Turbo um, line for the, for for the sedan and for the coupe. So you're going to have things like dual zone climate control. You're going to have the display audio system with standard CarPlay and Android Auto. You're going to have heated front seats. Uh, even though the seats are are, are different than the high bolstered uh, sport seats, but they they are heated as well. So in terms of uh, equipment grade uh, interior, it's very much mirrored after an EX Turbo. So you're not getting, you know, we've got, you know, nice features. We got 
we've got sunroof, so uh, you know what you see uh, if you were if you were an EX uh, turbo shopper and you wanted just that little bit more performance, you're going to get all that in the SI, but you're not going to give up any comfort features. And then. So that would dovetail into the next question being, um, does this have any of the Honda sensing uh, features on it, you know, whether the blind spot warning, lane keep, any of that stuff? Yeah, so no, we haven't, uh, we haven't equipped the SIs um, with the Honda sensing feature. So we've got one trim spec, basically, which is, is the set that I described to you. And really the only option is, is the summer, summer tire package, but it's otherwise one, one feature spec. In term, but we do have things like uh, Honda Lane Watch is uh, standard on the SI as well. So if you're looking for you know, a little bit of ad added uh, you know, uh, safety content, we do have that on the car. Uh, remote yeah. start was in the uh, press release. Was that a typo? Yeah, so uh, because it's a manual transmission, there will, there will <laughs> not be remote start on, on the SI. It was in a very early draft of a press release, uh, that, but it's since, since been corrected. So no remote start on SI. Yeah, cause we, so the seats are yeah. actually bolstered, not quite as aggressively as the Type R, but they're, they're not far off, right? Yeah, so the, uh, the SI seats are, are unique uh, in themselves, and they're, they're definitely more highly bolstered than what's in a standard Civic or e even in the, in the Sport uh, Civics, uh, but, but not as intense as what's in the Type R, but also very comfortable seat. So um, I think uh, this is a car, again, where you could, you could drive this car every day. You could, you could commute to work in this car. You're going to be very comfortable driving it. But those sports seats, if you want to do a track day, you're gonna, they're going to hold you in place very nicely. And both, both seats are heated? Yes. Okay. Yes, driver, driver and passenger front seats are heated on this car as well. So again, if uh, particularly for since we're in New York and you're New York customers, you got heated front seats. You can get high performance all season tires. You can drive this car year round here. So for the SI, have you, you guys done any specific intake and exhaust tuning to kind of enhance the sound that the the drivers going to hear from the exterior of the car? Yeah. Okay. So first off, there's no sound enhancer <laughs> on this car. I, I, didn't, I uh, didn't mean to say that you were faking well, the sound. I wasn't no, saying you were fake. I just wanted to. I was just wanted to point that out. <laughs> uh, and you know, one of the things that that some of us wondered when we were going from from the previous generation SI with the 2.4 liter motor, which really have you know, it's a big four cylinder and it's really got a got a deep sound how's it going to how's the uh, 1.5 turbo going to sound and you'll notice in the throughout the civic lineup as you step up from from a base uh, 1.5 turbo to a sport to an si uh, each level up you get more stronger exhaust sound so i can tell you uh, i was a little bit uh, worried whether i was going to get the same you know, impression and feel from the 1.5 turbo as as the as a previous 2.4 uh, car, and I can tell you that I've been pleasantly surprised with this car. So it does it does have have an aggressive uh, exhaust tune on it, and, you, and what's unique about this car, you've probably been around the back. Uh, it does have uh, it does have a center outlet exhaust, but just just so you know, it is a dual exhaust system. So we've got. Got mufflers on both sides here, so the you know the big pipe comes down the middle. We've got outboard mufflers on both sides, and then the, both of those pipes channel in and then come out through the center trapeze, trapezoidal exhaust. And if you would look in there, you'll see the two outlets too. So it is a you know center outlet dual exhaust, we should say. Mm -hmm. And that's a Civic first, right? Uh, this this layout with the trapezoidal finish, or you know, one piece is is a Civic first. You saw um, it's kind of a similar layout to what's on the sport car, where the, uh, the sport car has a uh, twin round uh, center outlets. But for for SI, it's uh, unique in this uh, trapezoidal. And it's a uh, uh, it's a little bit lower profile, you know, because you know suspension is. Uh, is, is tight on this car. We wanted to make sure that we didn't get into any ground clearance problems with, uh, with the rear fascia. So we've got kind of a uh, low wide outlet on this car. It looks pretty cool.